Live Fire with Kurt McAdams. Pure dead brilliant scrying. I didn't can any better. Hi, I'm Kurt McAdams with Live Fire. I uh, promised to do this little video for a really compliant uh, drink. I'm on a program where um, I'm really trying to watch what I'm eating. Um, it's been working really well for me, so um, I want to have a nice, refreshing summer cocktail, but I don't want to overdo it. So I found this one recently. It's not a new drink. It's new to me. It's called Ranch Water, and I'm going to make one here for you. Um, it's going to use a little bit of lime juice. In fact, I'm going to take the lime and go around the rim with it inside and out because um, I've got this Tejin seasoning, which is a Mexican seasoning of lime, solids, and uh, chilies. It's not too spicy, but it's, it's really, really good with fruit, oddly. You can find it in the produce section at Kroger. I'm just putting some around the rim of the glass. I'm gonna add a couple really nice, big, clear ice cubes. I love clear ice cubes. I've got an ice maker. If you're interested in finding out more about how to make clear ice cubes, let me know. Um, now, there are only three ingredients to this, which are really great. There's lime, there's mineral water, and I'm using a Mexican mineral water called Topo Chico. They've got three flavors, I think, lime, regular, and um, grapefruit. We happen to like grapefruit in it. It's really nice and refreshing. So I'm going to put a good pour of that in, about, about six to eight ounces. And then I'm going to use some tequila. And the tequila I'm using is Espolón. I think that's how you say it. It's an inexpensive tequila, really well rated, and it's really clean and, and nice to drink. I'm going to add about an ounce and a half of that. Don't need to overdo it, but it, it is really, really great stuff in there. Now we got the, the third ingredient. This is a little tip I told people I'd, I'd give. I'm going to use a juicer. That These are really easy to find. Um, we probably got this one at Tuesday morning. Um, the trick, though, is that you put the lime with the flesh side down. It seems like you would do it this way because of the shape of it, but we're trying to get the juice out and all the holes are on the bottom, so we're gonna do it that way instead and just squeeze out the juice of half a lime. And just to fancy it up a little bit, we'll go ahead and put that lime right in there. I've got a bar spoon, just gonna stir it around a little bit. So it's stirred, not shaken. We could probably, probably do it the other way. Those big ice cubes make it a little bit tougher to stir, but just stir it around and uh, it'll get nice and cold that way too. And that's all there is to ranch water. It's delicious, really refreshing on a hot day. Um, I'm going to give you a little bonus. The number one drink in Mexico is not the margarita. That's, that's an American thing more than Mexican. It is the Paloma which is very similar to this. Again, I'm gonna put a couple of these great ice cubes in here. And instead of using lime juice, although we are gonna use a little bit, we're actually going to start with the same mineral water we had before. Put in about six to eight ounces. And now I'm gonna squeeze in some grapefruit juice. So this is a grapefruit-based drink. We're not doing too much, so we're not overdoing the juice. Um, and I'm gonna add some lime to it also. Everything seems to have a little bit of a lime. Now, if you want, I will tell you this, this is also good with that Tejin. Uh, I'm not gonna garnish this one, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And then we're gonna add, of course, the Escalone tequila. Um, I'm using a, a Blanco, a white tequila. Um, you can use a respir, uh, Reposado or an Añejo, which are aged tequilas. It'll add a little more to it. Um, 
You can do it with mezcal, which adds a lot of smoke to it. I really love a good mezcal. Um, there, but if you don't like smoky drinks, you want to stay away from them. Now, stirring this up just it mixes it nicely. It also interacts with the ice and cools it down a lot faster. There's another really great refreshing drink for you. Again, if you want, you can add a little tajin to it. Not going to hurt anybody. Try this on your fruit. It's really great. It's like a dollar ninety nine. At, at the, it's not in the spice section. It's over by the produce, at the end of the produce at Kroger, um, but it's fantastic stuff. Um, really great summer drinks, both compliant. Um, hope you enjoy them. Let me know, you know, send me a note, let me know what you think of them.